Hey everybody, this is John Corcoran from California Law Report, calawreport.com, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to find free images on the web and how to insert them into WordPress posts. One of the problems with other videos out there is that they don't show you how to find the images. So I'm going to show you how you do that. So uh, I'm going to flip over real quick to uh, a great resource that I use to find the images and then I'm going to show you the process of embedding them, inserting them into wordpress.org posts. So uh, let's flip over from this to uh, our browser and we go to search.creativecommons.org. This is a great resource that allows you to search Creative Commons licensed images uh, on Flickr, on Google Images, on uh, other resources, Wikimedia uh, Commons, which is a Wikipedia uh, resource. Um, I mainly use Flickr and Google Images, so I find those two are the best. Um, and uh, of course Creative, Creative Commons licensed images means that uh, people have uh, indicated that it's okay for you to use these images for your own, pur your own purposes. In most cases they just want you to provide some attribution. So what I do is uh, on the bottom of my uh, posts I just say uh, you know um, citation or image um, source is from Flickr and then I have a link to the individual um, person's uh, name or, or screen name with, a, with the, um, the website URL. So let's say we're going to search for um, you know pictures of fire trucks. So we'll do fire trucks. Uh, let's do red fire trucks actually. Red fire trucks. And it defaults to Flickr images and so I'm just going to hit return and see what we come come up with. So here we go. Lots of pictures of red fire trucks uh, on Flickr. And if we click on one of them, you'll see in the uh, uh, right side down here, it's got the license information. Um, but basically, it, it's already searched through all the uh, relevant um, Creative Commons licensed photos. So there are different ways of, uh, depending on your Mac, if you're on a Mac or a PC, of um, downloading the image. Image. What I usually do is I just download it to my computer. Sometimes I tweak the compute the uh, image a little bit to reduce its size or to crop it. Uh, and there are different ways of going about that. Um, and there are also online photo editing resources that you can use, um, like Picnic, uh, if you want to uh, crop and edit the image. The best of all is Photoshop, but that's kind of expensive software that not everyone has. So what I usually do is I go to Actions, and then I do View All Sizes, which gives you a, a large image of it. And then I'll just right-click and save the image to my desktop, uh, and then lady, later I'll... Um, embed it so we could do that right now I'll do save image and then I'll just um, actually I'll, in, in my case I'm gonna um, just uh, save it to um, uh, my Dropbox which is where I um, put stuff Dropbox and then images I'll do red fire truck save it there okay and then um, from there I'll flip over to uh, my blog, go to the WP admin, uh, WP uh, login page, WordPress login page, and log in. And then we'll click a, add new, create a new image, and then you, of course you have your title. So the title is, I don't know, how to build your own red fire truck. And then you'd have your uh, tutorial, your information down here, and then uh, you would insert the image. So you click on this button right here, it says add an image. And then you click on select files, and then you can navigate to where you saved that image. Click on it, click open. And there you go. And then um, for search engine optimization purposes, you might want to uh, add some keywords um, 
in here so uh, if you want you put a caption underneath it I don't usually do that um, but say you're writing it you want to get search engine traffic for people looking for red fire trucks then you would make sure you have red fire truck in here and then red fire truck here and in the description too and maybe you want to use red fire engine because that's another word, term that people might search for. Um, maybe fire department. You can put these things in, in each each level here. And up here as well. That just helps with a little, a little bit with the search engine traffic. And then down here you can do alignment. So I'm going to have it on the right. You can have different sizes, full size, thumbnail if you want it smaller. You can also change these things later after it's been inserted. If you change your mind, it doesn't look exactly how you want. And then you click insert into post. There it is on the right side. Um, so if we want to take a quick look at it, we can just save the draft. and then click on preview post and we'll see what it looks like. So here's what it looks like in the uh, post. So of course you'd have all your text all the way down here um, all around it uh, and you can move it around if you want it on the right side or left side or whatever. Um, you just go back go back to the image and then you click on this little icon here and then uh, go to advanced settings and you can uh, uh, change the location, whoops, it's on edit image, change the location left, center, left, center, that kind of thing. And then under advanced you can make some other uh, little tweaks here and there, such as um, if you want to delete the uh, border around it. So that's the basic idea. Thanks for checking it out and uh, please check us out at California Law Report, CALawReport.com.